right, here we go. <laughs> Handy radar, look, see, look at that. Oh, by the way, some G force effects right there you just saw. Pull too many G's. I think we have among the laugh modes. So, so here's one other thing, right? That's G force. So if I'm pulling too much G force. Which by the way, you can see if I go to the if I go to the outside mode, let me just show on the guy. So here we go. Uh, hang on, let me just uh, lock my camera up there. See the G-force on the, there's the G-force on the guy. Acceleration, deceleration. Oh, oh, oh. oh good, good save. <laughs> Getting cocky. Watch this. You guys want a Newtonian mode? What am I doing? I'm going backwards. Newtonian mode off. Here we go. And let's not hit him. Let's just go to the front view here. You see? And the other. So basically, we have what we call a decoupled mode which I decoupled when I was moving forward and you saw me two back. The other side of decouple mode is being able to, uh, hang on a sec, let's get a decouple mode. It's straight, left or right, or up and down. I see, I think you can see that from the outside, but you're going up, down, or left, all right. Get back into the normal one. Yeah. Let's see what else we got here. And then I get to, some of you guys have noticed. Uh, the HUD's still a work in progress, but all the, um, all 3D. I think I've actually already killed this guy, because uh, he's pretty, I uh, not seem to be getting damaged. Yeah, and I, I, I actually think I may have killed him, and he's dead. Yeah, he's all, he's just basically pieces. He's already dead. So my HUD actually shouldn't have targeted him, but you know, here we go.
Oops, I'm going backwards. I don't want to be going backwards. <laughs> so, uh, so all the movements, say, in this cockpit when I'm moving around, that's completely the simulation of the G-forces. So we're actually, if I stop here, we're actually fully modeling, mod modeling everything. So the G-forces, the thrusters moving around. You know, I, we've, uh, we've talked about this before, but basically everything is 100% accurately modeled. The thrusters all change it, and then I can, like I said, like right now, I can change my, into the Newtonian mode that we move and we go back and forth. I can put the IFCS back on. But the thrusters are all doing everything, and so that means that when parts of you get damaged, your center of mass will change, your thrusters go off, you won't handle it quite the same way. Um, and it makes actually, a, it's a whole bunch of nuance to how you, you fly and what you do. And then additionally, when you're in the first person mode, if you're pulling way too many Gs, which you can sort of set it to do, and at a certain point you start to black out and we'll have red out. And so that's another, that's another aspect of the dogfighting that will allow you to play with things. You can go to the edge if you want to do, or you can sort of play within your safe side. What is the multiplayer? Okay, we're going to go to the multiplayer. So, this, is, this, this was sort of a demo of the, the beauty of the features. This is uh, one of the environments that we'll do the multiplayer dogfighting on called Broken Moon, which uh, hopefully you guys think looks pretty good. I think it looks all right there. So, uh, and lots of nice little graphical effects, like you can see like the engine. There you go, sort of. Fire a missile, I need one locked. Yeah, let me see if I can hit something. Hang on a sec. I think we got some, uh, you know what? Let me find some asteroids I can shoot. Yeah. That's what we're talking about. <laughs> Maybe not this one. Let's see. Not all of them can blow up. Obviously not that one. <laughs> Speed. Well, after burner. Let's see if we can lose a wing. Not yet. <laughs> wow, my ship, my ship got really tough all of a sudden. Ramming speed. Here, let's break this up. What's up? Yeah, no, I do have a uh, fairly invulnerable mode right now. <laughs> it's a demo! I'm sparky on my wing, hang on a sec, and uh, oh, I'm in, hang on a sec. Now I'm gonna go uh, uh, like this. And then I can go around here. And then I can just sort of strafe down.
after all of that, I blew up on the landing pad. Okay. All right. I can't die on an asteroid, but I can blow up a landing pad. Okay, uh, where's the PowerPoint? Um, so, uh, we're going to get to... Okay, just go to the slides. Right here. Okay. All right, so the dog fighting module is what we're going to give to you guys in the very near future, as soon as we get some bugs and... Uh, uh, other things worked out, especially in our back-end cloud server. Um, so, this is Star Citizen, and we're trying to build... <laughs> yes, no, th no thanks, Microsoft. There we go. Yeah, thank you, Microsoft. We don't really need to know how to use PowerPoint. Um, so, the dog fighting module, uh, which we're going to release to you guys, uh, hopefully at the end of this month, maybe the beginning of next month, depends on how many thing crashes we have, which we still have quite a few. Um, but, <laughs> but being, being Star Citizen, we want to make everything sort of in fiction. So we had you in the hangar. And so the whole idea of the dogfighting module is that it is not just a si simple little alpha test and you play stuff. It's meant to be part of what we're calling. I'm good. Hey. In 2944's Hollow Space Combat Sim, brought to you by Original Systems. <laughs> Arena Commander. There you go. So, Arena Commander, there's a nice little uh, piece of fiction in um, this. Last, uh, was it last month's jump point about original systems who uh, made some pretty good software back in the day or in the future. Um, and Arena Commander is what you'll be playing the in fiction simulation inside the hangar. So the idea is that you walk inside the hangar, you get into your ship, you can turn it on, load up the simulation, and then you can connect with other players and play and basically connect to this sort of virtual sim world. So in the final game, it will allow you to practice dogfighting. Uh, we'll have some level of sort of competitive ladder leaderboards and stuff where people can sort of try their, stale, uh, their skills against other players without having to risk all their ships. Um, so at the, at the, we're, we're, we're going to launch it with you guys, so it's not just a simple like fight. There's like, going to be right now five game modes. Oh, although there's only four right here. I don't know why that's the way. Uh, <laughs> so there's going to be free flight flying around, which I guess you don't have the, the stuff. Battle Royale, which is basically free for all. Um, Squadron, which is team play. Capture the core, which is essentially capture the flag. And uh, Vandal Swarm, which is really a sort of horde mode. And that's all, that, that will all be with the dogfighting module you guys get. For the first couple of environments we're going to do is the Dying Star of Pyros, which we're going to do the um, dogfighting multiplayer test in. And uh, what I, you were just seeing me fly around was a broken moon of Tyrannius. And um, we're going to release further uh, environments to dogfight around in. Um, and at the beginning, we're going to be able to fly um, the single-seater ships, so the, the, the original base pledge ships, which would be the Aurora, the Origin 300i, and the Anvil Hornet. And uh, my leaderboards. But uh, and after that, I think we've got a later slide. But uh, the other single seater ships, so the Avenger and the Cutlass, will be coming in as soon as the assets are finished. But it takes a, takes a bunch of time, uh, and the variants. So it takes a lot of time to do all the damage states and LODs and all the rest of stuff. So as those get built, they'll come in. Um, and then on top of that, we're building a whole site on the web platform um, to allow people to basically see how they've been playing. So. You, you can either play ranked matches, which would be sort of a matchmake. Uh, you basically go in, you matchmake against other people. Or you can play private matches. And we have a whole leaderboard. So, you know, you can... And ultimately, this will play across into the final game. But um, you can prove you're the best. Uh, the Comfort Your Hangar, Arena Commander will advance 
go change your Moby Glass, you'll see all those stats in the final game. Uh, you'll have statistics for all the game modes, uh, and uh, I guess you'll be able to see whether pilots or orcs can do it. And we're going to have enhanced citizen dossier stuff, which you'll see a little later on this presentation. And uh, we'll have rankings, which will be kind of fun. So it'll be something to do while waiting for the final full game that you can adventure around the whole universe. Everyone can be shooting each other and deciding who's the best at shooting each other. Um, which is kind of what this is about. So um, this will allow us to, uh, I don't know, it's just everyone have fun while we're waiting, right? Uh, and then, by the way, it's not the, uh, for the end of the day, for me, it's not all about combat. So if that's not your thing, you don't have to worry about it. Uh, and we also will let you practice against AI and have fun. So that's sort of the horde mode, the vandal swarm stuff. Uh, but anyway, the idea is to make it a little more polished and try and make it like a in-fiction experience while you're playing with a dogfight module. So yes, it's helping us test it. Yes, it's helping us hone the game. But also, let's make it fun and polish it in the fiction. And that's kind of the idea. So after, after that, um, we're going we're, we're gonna, to, and by the way, this is done up in sort of the style of like if original systems was pitching their game in 2944. Uh, but uh, so we're going to add, we're going to add ships as we go along. So as soon as they're ready, um, as I mentioned before, they'll be uh, good to go. Um, and then the version two, version two of the dogfighting. Version two of the dogfighting will be uh, the multi-crew ships. So the Freelancer, the Constellation, um, which should be fun, because that's actually the part of the game that I like, that I'm looking forward to the most, is the cooperative play aspect of it. So you and some of your friends manning a ship together as a team, I think will be really cool. So that's, that's uh, version two. will also allow you to sort of play co-op with your friends against AI, and AI be co-op with you. And, uh, so it should be, should be good, and in-game communication with, with the second drop. Um, the third version of Arena Commander uh, is going to have more environments. We're actually going to have the first-person boarding mechanics folded into that, so you can try that. And uh, capture the address mode. And so all of, all of this stuff, uh, and, uh, and uh, that's actually where we're planning to do the shift to um, double precision. So for any of the geeky programmers here, uh, most game engines run in 32-bit, which is fine for first-person shooters because you don't have very large play areas relatively. But in space, you've got, well, more than thousands, hundreds of thousands, millions, billions of kilometers. And so the precision in 32-bit just isn't enough, and it's actually a limitation of every single game engine out there. So we actually have a fairly big engineering effort underway right now to move us to double precision, which is basically 64-bit. So that will, be, that, will, that, will be, that will be in this. And uh, so we'll have first person boarding. And so essentially, we'll have sort of space superiority. And then it will be like capture the ship in the middle, which will probably be the address. So that should be fun. And then after Arena Commander, obviously, in the game, I've talked about this before, but we're going to integrate uh, planet side stuff, dedicated first person stuff, and then start to work on the kind of alpha beta of the persistent universe, which is allowing you to travel between a limited amount of, a limited amount of locations, and then obviously that grows over time. Um, and by the way, these side graphics you've seen here, are, these are all kind of the dossier stuff that will be in the leaderboard stuff in the, in the very beginning. So, there we go, planet side. And Squadron 42, which we have Aaron somewhere here in the crowd. Where's Aaron? Where's my brother? Where is he? Is he hiding? He doesn't like to talk publicly. <laughs> there he is. Say hi. There you go. So, so they're, wor they're working on, they're, the UK team is incredibly talented. I mean, they helped out a lot on the, on the dog fighting. A lot of the environments is, is their work, actually. So, and it's some of the prettiest looking space stuff I've ever seen. Uh, and they're going to do something pretty amazing for Squadron 42. No pressure. Uh, <laughs> So, uh, but it's going to be good. The story's going to be good. And this, that will be, it's just Squadron 42 will be as good as a next gen. If, I, if, I did a if we did a next gen Wing Commander, Squadron 42 would be that. But then we're going to have all these other parts, which is, I think, what makes Star Citizen so cool. So that's the end of the slide. And I think now, <laughs> hopefully, it's time to do a multiplayer dogfight. Are we good? Are we good to go? Servers up. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs>
Okay. What do I run on my side? Dog fight test. All right. So you yeah. So not from the, not from the one thing, just on the, where do I? There is no any key. <coughs> I, mm, tell me which one I gotta play. <laughs> okay, slight, slight delay here. Uh, I don't know if it's, if it's on here or not. Where's Brian? Is, is it on here or not? Okay, I, where's Eric? He can, he can have some jokes while... Five minutes. Okay, I'll take questions from the crowd. What's that? Shit. Uh, yeah, this is a prototype. I believe we're going to like have these things uh, made and potentially on sale down the road. In summer, where, where's Sandy? When is this going to be? First week of summer, apparently, we're going to have these things. So. What's that? What's your thoughts on third party ladder sites? You know, you said you had a ladder board, everything else. What's your thoughts on other third parties hosting tournaments and everything else? Well, I think it'd be cool. I mean, we're, we're, we're setting up an org to have the whole ladder board stuff, so I'm fine with you. What's your support for those third party sites? Why not? I, like, I'm fine with everyone API? doing it. API? Uh, well, we're planning to do API stuff long term. I mean, not short term. Okay. We've got lots of stuff to do right now, so oh. APIs after like all the basic stuff stuff. We, we have discussed and planned having API stuff for people to hook into longer term. So, yes, I don't know whether it's necessary API for the ladder, leaderboard stuff, but I would guess so. But don't quote me on that. I don't want, I don't want, but you said in the live stream in this day that it was there. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, no, no, we want people to have fun with it. So, yeah, I mean, if either people do their own stuff or inside the organization structure, it would be pretty easy, I think. Appreciate it. Thank you. You're welcome. What's that? Uh, up, so we will definitely put stuff in that will allow people to go against the Vandal in the Persistent Universe. So whether or not you'll actually be able to conquer and take out all the Vandal, Probably not, but you certainly will be able to wage war against them in systems. So. What's that? Uh, you mean in the dogfight? So in the dogfight, because, because uh, we're not going to have all the ships ready, if you don't have one of the ships that's available, we give you basically a loaner ship that's kind of equivalent to whatever ship you have. So, if you, like, if you have a freelancer, uh, you get to fly the Hornet, for instance, would be the way it works. So. What's that? <laughs> well, we're, we're, that's, I don't know where you got the freelancer Max from. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but, yeah, maybe that would be a discussion down the road. I have the microphone now for taking questions, so everyone can actually get some. So, here's the next question. Is it going to be a Star Citizen joystick? Uh, so, so, so we, we, we've been talking to a bunch of the people, whether it's Thrustmaster and SciTech or Logitech. So we are in discussions about doing a, like a hotel set up specifically for Star Citizen. So, what's that? Well, left-handed. Well, we do have a few left-handed, like Sandy's left-handed, so... Yeah, uh, uh, maybe Mark, are you left handed? No, you're not. Right. Well, ambidextrous, apparently, is what I hear. Okay, the next question, please. Will you be able to free fire missiles without a lock? Uh, will you be able to free fire missiles without a lock? It uh, depends on the missile, I would say. So you'll be able to, uh, like a dumb fire, you probably would be, but I would doubt you'll be able to free fire like a heat seeker or a image recognition without a lock. Generally, the way they work. So, next question, please. What's your uh, player limit for uh, matches in Dogfight? What's the what? What's your uh, number of players per match? That will, that will change, so we don't know yet. That's basically based on what we're going to do with the testing. So, um, I don't know, we've had up to 10 or 11 people in a current match. We have to do a lot of optimization on our network bandwidth. It's really heavy right now. 
Um, uh, so, I mean, our goal is to try and get support for like over 50 or 60 people. So, but it's not, not in Dogfight. Dogfight V1 will probably be more limited and then it'll sort of grow. So it sort of all depends. That's the whole point of doing the Dogfight module is to sort of test it very early, get a lot of people to play it, get a lot of people to, to stress test it. Uh, uh, well, so, okay, so the, <coughs> it is a combination, it's, uh, the server is ultimately authoritative, but it's reliant on the client, so what happens is, the if the client is within the, client doesn't look like it's cheating, we let the client simulate, if the client looks like it's cheating, the, the server takes over. It's not peer-to-peer, -peer. it's always client-to-server, it's just when you're simulating, it's a lot of simulation that goes on if you have a, client to a server and you have it fully server authoritative, you have a lot of delay, right? So it's not so much fun to fly. So basically, as long as your ship is flying with inside the acceptable limits on the server, it lets the client do the simulation. If the, ser the server's in charge, but the, it's client-side simulation until the client gets too far out of bounds, right? So it's the, it's the best way to prevent cheating, but also make the player experience be the best. It's too early to tell. That's why we're testing it with everyone here. What's that? Uh, well, we silly, you know, yeah, we, we, we don't want to have people that are, like, cheating in the game. So that's one of our goals to do it early is to make sure that we're testing against that. So we, ha we, have, we have some things that we think would work pretty well for it, but um, I don't really want to say too much about it right now because that would defeat the purpose. <laughs> So, next question. Yeah. When can we fly the side? What's that? When can we fly the side? Uh, fly the side? Um, probably uh, not, not the initial drop, but very soon afterwards. So the side is active in, in, the, in the initial drop in Vandal Swarm. And so really the, the big issue is just going to be hooking it up for a human to fly versus a Vandal. And then it'll fly. And you'll get to fly it around. So. So okay, I didn't hear that so well. What was it? Say that. that There's a fish for the. Oh, the fish that you can collect. Yes. Are those going to be tradable? So you can actually have a couple. Uh, of I don't know whether they're going to be tradable. I mean, the idea is that you can collect different things on different planets and kind of like what you would have in your fish tank or what knickknacks you'd have in your hangar kind of represents the areas of the galaxy that you've gone and visited and interacted. So, uh, so I'm not sure about trading fish. But thanks, Mission. Are we close? We're good? We're ready? Okay, we're ready. We're back. It says waiting for players one. What's happening? <laughs> Try my best. So on it, all right. Cool. Yeah. What's that? Okay, that's, that, this isn't fair, I can't move. <laughs> can't fire, I can't move, this is bullshit. <laughs>
Look at that. Oh, he's gonna kill me. No. No! <laughs> Okay, nice. You guys fight my, my client's dead. <laughs> I couldn't move. Is this keyboard even connected? Let's have a look. Yeah, it's connected. No, it's not Windows. It's our bad net code. All right. All right, okay, we're back. All right, come on. That? Uh, match server? Really? I just got killed like three. I can make, make control. All right, we're going again. Well, that's bullshit. I'm, ta I'm taking the boss parameter. There we go.
Where are we? Seriously, I'm like, it's, I'm invisible and, where am I? Okay, let's, let's start again. You want to start again or what? What's that? Start again. Where did I run from? All right. Wow. Come out. All right, I swear it was working a hell of a lot better when I left LA than it is right now, so I don't know what's going on. Uh, I very much appreciate that. Oh, it should be working better. Are we up or what? Uh, it's, no, it's, I, wouldn't, I would not blame this on Cry Engine. Yeah, it should, it should work. So which one do I use? This one?
guess I'll be. What is that? Santa Monica has gone wonky. Okay, I have to fly this way. It's like waiting for players, right? Thank you guys, you've been very patient. All right. All right.